Hey guys, welcome back. This is Zeeshan and you are watching me on Zetech Media, your favorite channel on tech videos. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. We are going to talk about machine learning. So I will let you know what is machine learning, how it is implemented and what are the different types of uh, algorithms when we try to use machine learning and what is its purpose because anything in this life doesn't go without a purpose. Like we are shooting this video because we want more likes and subscribers which will motivate us to make a lot of other videos on interesting topics. So let's keep it rolling. Alright, to begin with, I would like to let you know that we as humans are bound to make mistakes. But then there is something we do which is known as error correction. So we try to work on those mistakes so that we do not repeat that in the future. And for a fact, we also know that the machines, when I say machines, we are talking about computers here, intelligent machines. Uh, these machines follow the instructions set by humans. In other words, they follow the rules set by humans or engineers. So what if we can try and transform the machines to learn and work as humans do? So giving them data of the past and trying them to making them to learn things from the past data and making them project something of the future so in simple words this is what is machine learning machine learning is all about creating the ability in a machine to consider data consider the data from the past learn the data process the information using certain algorithms to predict something of the future so we will talk more about this we will talk what it can predict what are the different types of machine learning strategies which can be applied there are different different scenarios in which machine learning can be used I will give you all those examples and more information in detail so let's keep it rolling so just now as we discussed that we can program machines to learn from the past data and act accordingly so basically we are talking about learning of machines here from the data we give. So having said that, can we say is machine learning all about learning? Let me just tell you, it is actually beyond learning. It is about understanding and reasoning. So it is a lot more than learning. So what we are doing here is we are asking the machines to become calculative so that they can project their decisions, they can design certain decisions with the input of data, the output has to be very calculated. So this is what is machine learning all about. So let me just quickly give you an example of a perfect machine learning. Uh, let's consider a person and name that person as Jack. So now we know there's a person Jack and this person loves listening to the music. So obviously he would love listening to the songs or tracks. So now, there are two scenarios if he is listening to the music. He will either like the music or dislike the music. Alright? So now, how will we be able to identify what kind of music Jack likes and what kind of music Jack doesn't like? So, we are formulating this calculation on the basis of intensity, genre, and the kind of music he listens to and also tempo so these are the factors we are taking into consideration but for now we are just considering tempo and intensity to be our calculation metrics so that i can explain you in a better way 
how machine learning will help me understand which are the songs Jack will like, which are the songs Jack will not like. All right, so let's continue with our example. So we consider the person as Jack. We are trying to find out what kind of music Jack will like and what kind of music Jack will dislike. So, the easiest way is to obviously ask Jack what kind of music he likes, what he doesn't. But we are trying to make it a little complicated. So we are not trying to see on the basis of what songs Jack is rating to be as light songs. Uh, we are again not trying to see what kind of rating is giving, given by Jack to the songs as dislike. We are asking machines, basically we are asking the computers to figure out and tell us which are the songs Jack will like and which are the songs Jack will not like. So, so having, having said that, we are trying to do this calculation on the basis of two factors. So Jack will be, the machines will be trying to figure out the answers based on intensity. And tempo. Alright, so I just drew these lines and this is a y-axis and this is the x-axis. So on the x-axis we have one point which says relaxed, on y, y other end of x-axis it says fast. And then on y-axis we have sore and then the other end says light. So it's a sore kind of music and light kind of music and relaxed kind of music and fast kind of music. So what we are trying to do is a little calculation. So I'm just drawing these dots. And then this is for song number one. And now, this is for song number two. So let me just tell you that if these are the metrics for song number two and these are the metrics for song number one, I can obviously say this is the kind of song which Jack will like and this is the kind of song Jack will dislike because by now we are obviously sure that since, since we have considered this axis to be intensity and this axis to be tempo so anything which is fast on tempo and soar on intensity will be liked by Jack. So this is the data we have given to the machine. And anything which is which is light on intensity and relaxed on tempo will not be liked by Jack. So these are the two inputs we have given to the machine. Okay. So first scenario which we gave to the machine was song number one with fast tempo and sore intensity so Jack said that he likes the song and then we gave song number two with light intensity and relaxed tempo Jack said I don't like it so this is the input we have given to the machine now we are trying to find out from the machine if we give the machine song number three so let's say the machine gets song number three and machine also gets a task to find out whether Jack will like or dislike this song. So what we are doing here is we gave a song which is not so so much into light and relax mode and which is not so much into fast and sore mode. So this is in between that. So on basis of that what machine does is machine will see what kind of dots it's connecting. So let's say if machine has taken that particular song and calculated the kind of music it has and machine will draw a circle within this range and within this range this is from song number two and this is from song number one so you can see these dots are on this scale so that is sore on intensity and fast on tempo and there is a dot which is coming toward the lowest uh, lower cycle uh, lower range and this this particular dot is actually light on intensity and relaxed on tempo because Anything which is downside is light and relaxed, anything which is upwards is fast and slow songs. So the song Jack likes and what kind of songs Jack doesn't like. So
So the sound number one was this, and uh, these were the tempos and intensities for uh, song number one, which was ranging towards the high side. So we have considered that particular song as fast and so. And then this was song number two uh, for Jack, and then the intensity and tempo were ranging towards the lower side. So we consider this song as light and relaxed. And then uh, we got to know that this was the song which was liked by Jack and this was the song which was disliked by Jack. Now we have given this data to the machine and now we are trying to understand from the machine. With this data, what if we give the machine song number three and ask the machine to find out with this song what will be the result, whether Jack will like this song or dislike this song. So we got to know that there were three points in the higher intensity which was fast and soaring range and then there was one point for the song number three in the lower range which was light and relaxed mode. So when computer considered, the machine considered this area of the sound, it found that there were three metrics, these are the three metrics which were in the fast and soar mode and then this was the just one metric which was in the light and relaxed mode. So with this data, the machine will give you a 75 to 80 percent projection. Always remember it's a projection. That Jack will like the song because machine learning here will take the majority and the majority is coming from the high scale. So with the data we have given and the kind of calculation the machine did for the song, the results were this. that the we can say that 75 to 80 percent of the chances are that Jack will like the song because this is falling in the fast and soaring range because he likes fast and soaring songs. So this is how the machine learning will work. So there is an algorithm out of so many uh, machine learning algorithms we have k nearest neighbor algorithm according to the law of k nearest neighbor algorithm this will be the result and this is how machine learning will be able to tell you what kind of songs you will like and what kind of songs you will not like. Alright, so when the choices become difficult, machine learning will help you to ease your decision by learning the data, giving you the projection, by that you can figure out the answer for the choices which are difficult for you to make. Alright, just now we discussed that there are three types of learnings which machine learning does. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforced learning. We'll talk in detail about all these three types of learnings with examples. But in this video we are just going to discuss about supervised learning and then we are going to have a part two of this video with our example. So uh, let's consider three coins. So let's say there are one million coins we give to the machine and we give a task to the machine to find out to differentiate between the different different coins there are in those 1 million coins. So one type of coin is a dollar coin and this coin is of let's say 3 grams and then there is one real which is of 5 grams and then there is a one rupee which is of six crumbs. Now there are three types of coin in these one million coins and now we are asking the machine to find out there are how many coins of dollars we have and how many coins of real and how many coins of rupee we have in out of all these coins and then we are taking the weight as feature of the coin and then we are telling the machine the currency as label. Now the machine will learn to recognize the coin which feature is equivalent to which currency. So, 
respectively the machine will learn let's say if the weight of the coin is 3 grams so the feature of the currency will be dollar and then if the weight of the currency is 6 gram then that coin will be a rupee so this particular type of learning in machine learning is known as supervised learning you give the instructions so what you have given you have given the data to the machine and you say there are so many coins out of so many coins there are three, three types of coins which machine needs to identify and machine got a task to find out according to the weight what type of currency it is so the weight was given and then according to the weight the three gram coin was a dollar coin and the six gram coin was a rupee coin so this particular calculation in machine learning is known as supervised learning and then there is unsupervised learning and then reinforced learning and then there are so many other algorithms which we are going to discuss about those algorithms and the different types of other learnings which machine learning has in our next episode which is a part two of machine learning so whatever happens on facebook whatever happens on google and whatever happens on youtube and i can give you many more examples like this which relate to machine learning okay so if i search for something on google why does it show in my facebook or let's say if i buy any product on amazon why does it show in my facebook that i can also buy this this is something which you bought that you can also buy this or let's say if i go to amazon.com and try to add or uh, uh, buy a camera once i select a particular camera if you scroll down below you will see people who have bought this have also bought this so all these things all these terminologies are coming from machine learning so machine learning is nothing but you give the data of the past it does a calculation and on the basis of that calculation it gives you a projection of what will happen next if you buy this you can also buy this because those things are related to your choice so we'll talk more about machine learning in our next part 2 video and for now I would like to say thank you very much so guys that's it for tonight and I cannot continue this video more because of uh, so many things I have been doing all day we have reached and thousand subscribers so a very big thank you to all of you and in just a matter of 40 to 45 days we have cracked thousand subscribers and more than 40,000 views on our channel and I'm very glad to tell you that today I happened to go to Home Depot and there I met a lady called Pamela and uh, the kind of customer service I got from her was really really amazing and if Home Depot guys are listening to me then you guys should appreciate her for all the honest work she did and the patience she had because uh, after a very very long time I have seen a customer service like that so hats off to Pamela and she is also our subscriber and a special subscriber and thank you so much guys I'll see you next time you guys have a nice day